Hi, I'm Peter Lindemann and uh, uh, I'm with Tesla Chargers and today we're going to be showing you uh, how our uh, Tesla solar trackers work. What we have here is a, um, a panel, set of panels. This is producing 24 volts and uh, probably around uh, 10 amps. And um, uh, behind here we've got a setup um, that has a couple of batteries and we'll be demonstrating the uh, 10 amp, 24 volt solar tracker uh, in just a second. So follow me back here, or get there before me, I don't care. And here we are in, a little bit in the shade. And so uh, here's, here's our setup. We've got the uh, input from the uh, panels, and, and we've got them right here on these clips right here. And we've got two 12 volt batteries uh, wired in series here. You can see that, the negatives to the positive there. And we've got the voltmeter here showing that this, this is sitting at uh, 25.12. Uh, uh, so again, uh, the, the batteries are showing that they're pretty much um, standing in full at full charge. And of course we're out here in a, uh, so we're hearing a little bit of truck noise people are going home for the uh, afternoon. Um, <clears throat> but here's, here's the unit that we're going to be demonstrating today. This is the 10 amp, 24 volt solar tracker. Okay, And it has uh, <clears throat> a number of uh, simple features. It has a charge light, it has a solar tracking light, and it has a um, desulfation. This is the green light. So uh, you connect the solar panels to here, you connect the battery to here, and um, that's pretty much it. The bigger units um, may also have a fan, um, but they all, the, the lights and the functions are all the same. So by demonstrating this, uh, we're basically demonstrating the entire line. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to start by uh, also showing you that uh, each unit comes with its own uh, owner's manual. And um, <clears throat> when I set this up, um, because it has this um, on-off switch, which is currently off, um, when I'm setting this up, it doesn't really matter what I connect first as long as the whole thing's off. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to just um, connect uh, the battery positive here and the battery negative. Okay. So now the battery's hooked up. And I'm going to hook up the solar panel. So this is the positive, and this is the negative. Okay, and as we can see, basically, um, no lights came on or anything else. Uh, everything is just uh, in the off mode. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the on switch, and uh, the, the red light will come on, probably the blue light will come on, and so here we go. Okay. So that's exactly what happened. And we start seeing the battery charging pretty good. Okay. And again, the voltages are rising quickly because these batteries are essentially charged. Um, but uh, I want to I show you um, the, the topping event again. So what we're seeing here, um, it's already gotten to the point uh, where the green light has come on. So now all three lights are on. And um, so that means that uh, the, the charge rate has, has rolled off. And you can see that the, uh, the charge rate's holding pretty, pretty much at um, 29. Um, so for instance, if I, if I take the uh, panel off of the system, can I do that? Can I disconnect the panel? Flip the switch off first, OK. So I'm going to turn this off. And so we can see. Um, that the, the voltage will drop, okay. But uh, what I want to, what I want you to see is uh, when the when the green light comes on, okay. So um, so I turn it on and the green light is not on, and then when it gets up to almost uh, 30 volts, the green light does come on, okay. And that's when it starts um, uh, putting in. Um, what it does is it it starts putting open circuit voltage uh, pulses onto uh, the battery, again, to desulfate. But it's still charging, and it's, um, 
still tracking the sun and it is desulfating. So um, this is what a topping event would look like um, with, with this unit. Um, uh, some of the bigger units have uh, fan cooling. Uh, some people uh, complain about the uh, um, that the fan makes too much noise and other things like this, but um, uh, in, in full sun, uh, when it's really delivering power, uh, the fan uh, cools, cools the unit properly. So um, you shouldn't have this thing in your living room or next to your television anyway, so uh, uh, you should have it in some outbuilding where the fan isn't going to bother you. You want the fan on. Don't ever do anything to defeat the fan uh, cooling. So um, these, these units are designed to uh, protect the batteries uh, from uh, being discharged uh, during the day. Now, typically, a solar system is going to let everything settle to the battery voltage. Uh, in other words, if, if, if we start taking power out of this system on an inverter, uh, that's going to sag the batteries and then the amount of energy coming from the panels is going to drop. And what these systems do is um, that it, it, it keeps the battery in the charge mode even while um, uh, power is being taken by the inverter. And so um, you, at the end of the day, uh, you have a lot more power left in the in the batteries. And uh, do you want to mention uh, the significance of the open voltage? Because <coughs> uh, these charge controllers that we have allow the open voltage to be the the full voltage of the panels to be used compared to other systems. Correct. Um, so and that's that's what you see, especially with the green light on. Um, the the unit um, uh, periodically um, disconnects from the the panel <coughs> uh, and the battery and that allows the panel to rise to its open circuit voltage and then when it reconnects it gives a, a high voltage spike to the battery and that helps root out the sulfation and um, uh, it can do that up at these voltages now if we put a um, um, a load on on this and started drawing power down um, what you would see is that the, the system, the green light would go out and the panels would deliver power directly to the inverter, leaving the batteries in a charging state so that at the end of the day they haven't been drained by the inverter when they're running loads. So um, um, other systems use um, what's called an MPPT or a maximum power point tracking system and they try and get those things to happen but um, the, the Tesla solar trackers are the only ones that actually protect the battery during the day, during the charge process, and, and keep it in the charge mode um, even while the inverter uh, is using power periodically. So um, this demonstrates uh, what the lights do um, and how the systems work. Each unit comes with its own um, owner's manual. and. Um, if you have any questions, you can go on any of the forums and, and ask uh, John Bedini and any of the other developers here um, you know, specific uh, um, installation questions. So um, this is uh, a, solar, a Tesla Solar Tracker 3, and uh, my name is Peter Lindemann, and this is Tesla Chargers.